Texas just took a bold step with SpaceX that left California's governor completely stunned. After clashing with California over regulations and politics, Elon Musk moved SpaceX's headquarters to Texas and built an entire city, Starbase. And now, with the full backing of the Texas governor, he's pushing boundaries like never before. It's about turning the birthplace of Starship into a fast-growing tech capital, where nothing stands in the way of perfecting this beast to make the Mars dream real. So, what exactly did Texas just do? Let's dive into it in today's episode of Alpha Tech. In July 2024, news broke that SpaceX, the aerospace giant based in Hawthorne, had already begun relocating to South Texas. The move shocked the local space startup scene, as many smaller companies weren't just losing a neighbor, they were losing the gravitational pull that had attracted talent, investors, and attention. To California, this wasn't just another company moving out. It was the loss of a crown jewel. When a giant like SpaceX leaves, the whole ecosystem shakes. In the end, Elon Musk's decision to move SpaceX's headquarters to Texas was a no-brainer. Texas welcomed SpaceX with open arms, offering fewer regulatory hurdles and strong support from state officials, perfect for scaling up at Starbase, where the Starship program is roaring to life. California's strict rules and high costs just couldn't compete. Texas has also fueled Musk's bigger dreams. Back in March 2021, he posted on X about his vision, creating the city of Starbase, Texas. With state backing for SpaceX's growth, from tax breaks to a warm welcome for the HQ move, Texas is helping Musk inch closer to turning that bold idea into reality, even if the city of Starbase is still a work in progress. And now, in 2025, that dream has officially come true. The vote to turn Starbase into a recognized Type-C city took place on May 3rd, 2025. According to the Cameron County Elections Department, the results were clear. 212 votes in favor, just six against, out of 283 eligible voters. Only 143 yes votes were needed to pass. With the results confirmed, Cameron County will wrap up the certification process within two weeks, and a judge will issue the final order making it official. Elon Musk couldn't hide his excitement. He confirmed the news on X, writing, Starbase, Texas is now a real city. Behind Musk's success, Texas played a starring role. Doing things so openly supportive, it probably made California officials furious. In December 2024, SpaceX filed a petition to hold an election for creating the city of Starbase. The request was sent to Cameron County Judge Eddie Trevino, and just three months later, he swiftly verified and approved it, allowing the vote to happen as early as May. But that's not all. Texas lawmakers, like Senator Adam Hinojosa, went even further. He introduced a bill to transfer weekday beach closure authority at Boca Chica from Cameron County to the future city of Starbase, aiming to simplify rocket launch operations. The bill has already passed the Texas Senate and is now awaiting a vote in the House. Becoming an official city brings huge advantages for SpaceX. Now, they'll have the power to manage their own urban planning, issue building permits, and handle zoning without having to go through Cameron County's red tape. That means SpaceX can move faster in building housing for up to 3,500 potential employees, plus the infrastructure and amenities, like schools and hospitals, needed to support a growing workforce. More importantly, if the new bill proposed by Senator Adam Hinojosa passes, SpaceX would gain full authority to close off Boca Chica Beach and State Highway 4 on weekdays shifting that power from Cameron County to the city of Starbase. That would make it way easier for SpaceX to lock down the area during rocket launches, especially as they plan to ramp up from just five launches a year to as many as 25. No more filing requests with the county court. Less red tape, more flexibility, and full control over their launch schedule. To get this kind of support, the bond between SpaceX and the Texas government must be incredibly strong stronger even than what they had in California. And that kind of relationship didn't just pop up overnight. SpaceX has been in Texas since 2003 with its testing sites. Their involvement kicked off when they took over the McGregor site from Beale Aerospace, a former rocket company. Although McGregor had been dormant, it already had rocket engine test stands. Exactly what SpaceX needed 
And unlike California, where building everything from scratch would have cost a fortune, Texas made it easy to get things moving. McGregor quickly became the hub for SpaceX's rocket engine testing. SpaceX's move in Texas took a huge leap forward in August 2014, when the company chose Boca Chica, which would later be renamed Starbase, as its private launch site. At first, the site was meant for Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy launches, but by early 2018, SpaceX shifted gears. They decided to focus Starbase exclusively on their next big project, Starship. Around the same time, Cameron County jumped in to help push the aerospace industry in the area forward. They set up the Cameron County Spaceport Development Corporation, CCSPDC, to support projects like SpaceX's launch site. The council quickly got to work, teaming up with SpaceX to make sure everything from infrastructure to land planning was in place. In May 2015, they transferred 25 parcels of land to SpaceX, setting the stage for things like event parking down the line. It was a huge move, and in many ways, it felt like the warmest welcome SpaceX could have gotten since starting up in Texas. Local officials, such as Cameron County Commissioner Alex Dominguez and Sofia Benavides, strongly supported financial and tax incentives for SpaceX, seeing it as an opportunity to boost the local economy, which had high poverty and unemployment rates. When it comes to taxes, I'm sure Musk saw Texas as a major win. California, known for its high tax rates, has been a financial burden for businesses like SpaceX and their employees. The state has a corporate tax rate of 8.84% on profits, one of the highest in the country. On top of that, there's a progressive personal income tax that ranges from 1% to 13.3%, the highest in the U.S. This clearly affects SpaceX employees' take-home pay. Now, Texas, it's a whole different story. They don't have a traditional corporate income tax. Instead, they impose a franchise tax, but only on businesses making over $2.47 million a year. Of course, there are still other costs to consider, but overall, if SpaceX had built Starbase in California, they'd be looking at hundreds of millions, if not billions, more in construction and operating costs. Moving to Texas was a smart move, no doubt about it. In return for this support, SpaceX and its contractors contributed over $500,000 to the election campaigns of about 24 local officials since 2014, further solidifying their political ties with Texas leaders. On the education front, Musk, through his charity, The Foundation, donated $100 million to establish and launch a new K-12 to school in Austin, focused on science, technology, engineering, and math. Once fully operational, the school will aim to create a pipeline for the next generation of talent to contribute to the nation's space and rocket industry. Since the construction of Starbase, SpaceX has created thousands of jobs for full-time employees and contractors from Texas, bringing much-needed employment to the Rio Grande Valley, a region with a poverty rate of around 30%. This economic boost, though not without environmental controversy, has turned Starbase into a new engine of growth. At one point, Texas Governor Greg Abbott proudly declared, there is no greater entrepreneur in the entire world than Elon Musk. We are so proud he calls Texas home. That statement says it all. The bond between Elon Musk, SpaceX, and Texas isn't just about location. It's a calculated partnership built on mutual benefit and a shared appetite for bold innovation. Meanwhile, over in California, Governor Gavin Newsom might still be telling himself, well, at least SpaceX didn't completely leave. But let's be honest, when a company moves its headquarters, its momentum, and its long-term vision somewhere else, it's not just about mailing addresses anymore. Some say Musk's decision was sparked by his opposition to California's AB 1955, a bill that would prevent schools from notifying parents about a student's gender identity changes. So. Was that really the only reason? Of course not. Musk standing up for parental rights has nothing to do with building and launching rockets. The real reason for the move? It's all about money and politics. Sure, taxes were a big part of it, but they weren't the only hurdle. California's strict regulations on the environment, labor, and workplace safety have driven operational costs through the roof. Take 2024, 
For example, the California Fish and Wildlife Commission shut down SpaceX's plan to increase launch frequency at Vandenberg, all due to environmental concerns. And that's not all. In Hawthorne, SpaceX has been hit with lawsuits over pollution. All of this doesn't just slow things down. It makes it harder for Musk to scale. For a guy trying to launch humans to Mars, endless red tape is more than just a headache. It's a deal breaker. Speaking virtually at a 2022 conference in Miami, Musk, a businessman overflowing with big ideas, didn't hold back his frustration with California's political environment, saying it often feels like the state just wants to stop you from doing anything. California used to be the land of opportunity, he said, but now it's become the land of taxes, overregulation, and litigation. And that's not a good situation. This wasn't just a random complaint. It quickly built up by 2020. In May that year, tensions erupted during the pandemic when Alameda County ordered Tesla's Fremont factory to close in an effort to prevent the spread of the virus. Musk called the order fascist on Twitter and reopened the factory, defying the local government. Musk sued Alameda County, demanding the lifting of the lockdown, and threatened to move Tesla's entire operation to Texas or Nevada. He tweeted, Tesla will now move its HQ and future programs to Texas, Nevada immediately. This marked the first time Musk publicly threatened to leave California, deepening the rift with the state government. While Tesla didn't immediately move, this incident set the stage for future conflicts. Yes, it wasn't just about rules and regulations. Politics played a big part, too. And let's be honest, Elon Musk has never been shy when it comes to politics. He used to back Democrats like Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton. But around 2020, something shifted. Musk started leaning right, publicly supporting Donald Trump, and even pledging to spend $45 million a month on Trump's super passy in 2024. That obviously didn't sit well with the progressive leadership in California, a state dominated by Democrats. Musk didn't hold back either. He openly slammed California as a one-party socialist state and even called Governor Gavin Newsom the Joker on X. Newsom isn't one to back down either. He directly took a jab at Elon Musk, publicly posting, you bent the knee, implying Musk's submission to Trump, especially after Musk had supported Trump following Trump's criticism of him in 2022. Newsom's comment hinted that Musk's actions were driven more by political interests, supporting Trump, rather than business or moral reasons related to AB1955. Musk then directly commented on Newsom's post, saying, You never get off your knees, mocking him and implying that Newsom constantly submits to political pressure or progressive policies. That's it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you soon.